evening and welcome to another episode from the Wildlands and tonight we build a funky triangular table. That's pretty cool. Before we can build the table we have to level out the ground because it's really lumpy bumpy. We put a couple of telegraph poles in to level the back and then put a uh, wooden raised bed. Oh yeah that was really cool. Yeah you're gonna like that bit. And then we redo the electrics in the shade house. That's the exciting bit. That's what you want to stay tuned for because we um, we were so excited by our redoing of our electrics that we um, we were a bit silly, really. Not we? I don't know. What did we do that was silly? <laughs> Just wait and see. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. No. So enjoy tonight's episode. July 2021, with the increase in travel restrictions caused by Brexit and the pandemic, we decided to buy off-grid land in Portugal to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Follow along with our journey as we turn our beautiful but derelict land into our very own slice of off-grid heaven. Wildlands. table build so I've put the supporting corner struts in on each leg which has made the table very sturdy so that's good and as it's a 9 to 12 seating table we don't have enough chairs I'm putting a pub style bench on one end you can see the bit of wood balanced here so I'm just going to attach that now daddy daddy we built the shade house just for me look I've got a big triangle of the shade it's the Juan Shade House, I'm oh, very much liking it, very good. Thanks, Daddy. So, the electrics in the Shade House. We had a temporary system, which was really great, that Martin put up with an LED uh, bulb up the top. But I blew it up. You did. <laughs> so, uh, we're upgrading now. So, we got a new Jackery. And we're going to use that to power a 60-watt fan. That's very exciting, because it's getting very warm now. Yes. And then we're going to put in some funky lights. We are. We're excited e about the funky lights. Yeah. LEDs and proper full voltage lights that we're going to plug into the mains. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing we've got that's mains. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're going to tell us about this jackery then, yeah. for those of you that don't know what a jackery is? Sure. The jackery is super funky because it has lots of different options for you. It's got an input so that you can plug in your solar panels. It's got DC. You press the button and all you're doing is powering something with DC, like a cigarette volt lighter. If you've got USB, so if you wanted to plug, plug in your phone or anything else that's powered by USB. And finally, you have the AC, pure sine wave, 230 volts, which on this one has a European plug socket, but you can also get them with UK plug sockets. And I love this little display, it tells you the input and the output. So currently we're getting nothing because we're not plugged into the solar, and the output is seven watts, which is the little inverter powering the AC. And then on the side, there is a torch, super handy, and a chunky little handle so you can carry it around the land. It's ideal. So what we're going to do is we're going to put proper lights in, and also we've got a big fan. Yes. And uh, we've been gifted a jackery. Yeah. Which is very exciting, so thanks very much to jackery, and we've decided to use that a bit differently to how you might normally use a jackery, and we're going to use it as our entire power for the shade house. That's right. Yeah, usually the jackeries and all the elk are suitable for taking around. And while it is still super duper and it could be portable, and we could take it and use it to be portable, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be in the shade house. It's going to be a permanent fixture. 
Yeah. I haven't seen anyone else using them like that. No. But it's going to be really handy. It's got all the different ports and stuff. So let's get it out of the box because it's exciting. Well, look at that. That's small, isn't it? That's very small. So the plan, the plan is, and it's as always with us, I'm going to be installing things on the fly. So at the moment, I'm thinking the jackery is going to go on the back wall here. So it's near the IBCs. And then we're going to put it in a box. Protects it from the elements. Yep, so it doesn't get rained on because in the winter we do get rain splashing in from that side. So it needs to be uh, protected from the elements, yep. as Missy said. And then we've got an extension lead, which we're going to run up the middle, I think, and attach it to the roof. Yep. And then we have two lights. Oh, they're swanking. I'm so excited about these. So two copper lights. Looks like a big crystal. Which we're going to hang from the ceiling. And we've got two bulbs to try out. A, to see how the jackery performs with different wattages. Yep, this one's 470 lumens. And at 40 watts, this is 1521 lumens, really bright, and 100 watts. And they look funky because you can see the little bits on, on the inside. Yeah. And they're LED, yes. environmental, low wattage bulbs. Mm -hmm. And then each light has an independent switch, so we can switch between lights and or bulbs to get the right ambience when we've got people around and when we're relaxing at night. Yep. And what else have you got? This is for Rosie more than anything. It is LED strip light, three meters of color changing remote control, funky donkey lights. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just give her the remote and see what happens. Well, I like the fact that although it's going to be in a box, if we wanted to, you could just unplug your extension lead, have all your lights and everything still set up and take your jackery off Somewhere down, down the land, land or yeah. to the lake or what have you. So I've seen a lot of people online who are doing van builds who say, why do I need to put solar in my van when I could get a jackery? Yeah, right. And um, the answer is, if you're not electrically minded and you want something that's portable, you can charge it up from your van, as Missy said earlier, while you're driving, or from your solar panel when you're parked up. So you could use it just as easily on a van in the same scenario to run your lights. We'll see how it gets on, because we've got quite a big fan, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Show yeah, we're going to put the fan up on the ceiling, too. Let me find the fan. I'll put it outside. So all winter long, we've been thinking about how to keep ourselves away from the rain and how to keep ourselves warm and so on. And all of a sudden, at the beginning of May, and it was like a, a switch flipped. And suddenly we were thinking about how can we keep cool? How can we stay in the shade? So we had to go get ourselves a fan. It's quite a big fan. It says it's a floor fan. It is, yeah. Is that not the wrong fan? No, because we're going to turn it upside down and make it a ceiling fan. <laughs> Shall That's I show brilliant. you my plan? Yeah, go on then. So, it's a 60 watt fan. So we'll see how the jackery does powering that and how many hours it does. What? Right. Sorry, I didn't get your joke there. <laughs> so yeah, it's designed to go that way up and swivel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes in here. And then I'm going to screw it to the ceiling. So it'll be... A upside down and then obviously we can angle it nice. and point it at our chairs. I bet Juan is the one that gets the best. You'll find out where it, it will, hits yeah. the ground and you just go. Oh. So yeah, so two lights, the LED strip and we're running Portuguese or European sockets on this one. We thought that was easier because obviously then we can just plug the extension lead into here and then use this. This has also got a switch so we can turn everything off in one go. We have miscalculated. What's that? One, two, three, four plugs. Yep. Yep, well, we, I think we don't have enough wiring anyway. Okay. Because this has got a one meter cable. The lights have got a one meter cable. And we want the lights apart and the fan over there, I think. Um, and it will probably be that we don't want the, them all on at the same time. Oh, anyway. no, true, true. Um, but we can get, you, you can get a splitter. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we might need to get or a, a few other extension. bits. Yeah. We'll see how we get on. See how we get on. Yeah. Let's get on then. So those of you that have watched our older videos, if you go back about six months to when we built the Shade House, what you see here is four IBCs, which are 1,000 litre containers, which are connected together and then covered in tarp to keep the sun off them so we don't get too much algae. And then we've got this bamboo along the front. So you don't really notice them. And then also we're collecting water 
off the gutter and from the roof, so for rainwater collection. So the plan is that uh, when the jackery needs charging, we'll put the panels there. At the moment they're in semi-shade because it's only nine in the morning, the sun's still coming up. And then we can um, charge up as we need it from the sun. And then in the winter, if we don't have good weather, we can take the jackery in the van and plug it into our cigarette lighter and uh, charge it up from the van's engine or from the van solar. So for now we've got the jackery just on the back of these boxes. Getting the solar from behind on the IBCs. Just going to leave it there for now while we do the wiring and put the lights up. And then we can work out where everything's going to be. And then I can work out if I'm going to put the jackery in a box here or whether it ends up over there, over there. So let's see how we get on with our upgrades. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm getting that That's air nice. here. That's lovely, that is. And I can see straight away on the jackery it says it's getting 12 watts of input from the sun and the output is 38 watts for the fan. So let's try turning it up one. Oh. Output's now th oh, 42. 42 watts on the second level. Let's go for super mega really fast. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I like it. Output 46. 46 watts, that's not bad. No. That's all right. That's good. That's going to be so nice on a super hot day. Maybe we get another one. <laughs> So I've made a little divot, just so I've got somewhere for me drill to go. So there we go, job done, got me two holes. And uh, I get a long screw, which is I've got to screw it on the roof to, and get that screw done. Yeah, it's as tight as you can go. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hey, we got a fan up. Oh, so swanky. I have an idea. Ding. Okay. All light fittings with right. Missy. Figured it out! <laughs> so, dangly light, cable. We're just holding them up for now to try and work out where we want them. It's got a nice thick cable. And then I'm thinking one over here where we've put up this lovely cloth to give a shade. I'm thinking maybe one here ish. Yep. And then the cable would the go. The further over. back it goes, yeah. the more you bash your head. Oh true. But you can make the cable shorter obviously. Oh well, yeah. Okay, so that's that's head height and and, and if I was on tiptoe yeah, so you... it's gotta be at least there. So yeah, I think it's gotta go closer to this so that you can actually have it dangling, otherwise it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. Well the other one further back because we usually have our dinner table over here, don't we? We do. And that would maybe spread the light out. It's hard to tell in daylight. Well, we can put the hooks up. Ah, oh, and test it. And test it. And then we can always put other hooks up and move them around. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. You could have permanent lots of hooks. Yep. And within radius a, of the um, lead. If we make a short extension with just a, a plug on either end, then we can always extend the, the length of that so that we can move them all around the shade house. That's so clever. What a great idea. I am clever. You'd be like, oh, we're having a dinner party, so we need lots of light on the table. Or when it's winter, we have it. Yeah. What, what does my t-shirt say on the front? It here? says you're a genius. That's why. I'm genial. Yeah. What you got, Dom? You can. You can. You can make You can. You can. You can. <laughs> you can oh. go back up the ladder. Yeah. While Dom's figuring out his hooks, you can have a little look. Now you carry on. Carry on. You can have a little look round the shade house as it is at the moment. This over here was a cabinet we found at the bins and we just thought it was too good to pass up it's got a little bit of damage in it so we need to replace some chipboard you can see in there a little bit um, and then that's going to be where we can store our crockery and bits and bobs and over here it's very messy 
but we're going to put lovely shelves this is like a needs must we have some nice crates and they're just storing things that we need outside but eventually it's going to be beautiful shelves with all lovely knickknacks on and all our mess hidden away how are you getting on with you who can you done so it you want, we wanted one there yeah and then we'll put one a bit further back okie dokie see how works. so what you reckon here Little. Yeah. Oh, we're doing a proper test. You've got to get the weight of the bulb, you see. Oh, okay. It'll make it slightly heavier. Uh -huh. I think it's alright. Because we can always put something like that round it so that it can't slip so back can't through. Slip out, yeah. I can't see it very well with all the light. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. Look at that. It's pretty. Well done. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah the cable's all right, so maybe if the plugs go here, mm -hmm. then we can probably move these over that end as well. Yeah. And that's great. And that reaches no problem. Yeah. I like the idea of having hooks all over the place. So we can move it. Yeah. It's genius, isn't it? Yeah. Genius. <laughs> and your idea that you just had off camera where you said that they can just go straight on the table as well. Doesn't yeah. have to hang from the ceiling. No, when we saw them in the shop they were just on tables, that's what they were designed for. Yeah, really cool. Uh, so far we have worked out how to get the plug into the socket and screwed it up over there where there's a little remote control dongle sticking out and it's got sticky stuff on the back and we're just sticking it to the wood with a few cable ties here and there for good measure just so it doesn't fall down. Hello. The trouble is that I can't really show you the lights to the full effect in the daylight. What do you think of the new table then? I like it. It's very swanky. It is I very believe swanky. it's handmade and in such a short space of time. So thanks to Mark who helped me. Much appreciated, mate. Thanks, Mark. And it was Mark's idea to make a triangular one as well. Yeah. Very nice. Which I love. It's unusual. Feels like a pub table. It does a bit. I, I do like the colour now. It's nice. Yeah. And we got lots of people for dinner tonight, haven't we? Yes, we're going to test it out to the max. Three people on each side. I've got to cook for them all. Well, that'd be challenging. Thanks very much for coming back to Wildlands and following along with us for another week. And thanks very much to Jackery for powering the new shade house. Yes. Really appreciated. What a good job it did. Absolutely. We really had a lot cool. of fun with we that, did didn't have we? A lot of fun. <laughs> We'd probably lose about 200 subscribers. You're too silly to be off grid. <laughs> we are silly. So, um, yeah, it was good. It was a fun video and a good week. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, as always, thanks for your lovely comments. And uh, if you've got any questions, or if you just want to say hello, drop us a little comment, give us a thumbs up and a like. And if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss any more silliness.
another week at the Wildlands. Done and dusted. And we'll see you very soon. We've got a very special video coming up, haven't we? We have. Oh, you're going to like it. It's exciting. And it's not even here at the Wildlands, is it? It's not here at the Wildlands. Not here. Should we tell them? Oh, go on then. So yeah, we're starting a new series, touring other people's properties. And the first one is a big one because we're going to Bohemia, or Boho as it's fondly known, which is a community project not far from us. A lot of workaways there and it's an amazing place, hosts a lot of events in the off-grid community. Yeah, they've got loads of animals and loads of structures and it's just got to be seen to be believed. Good so time. that's the first of a new series. Yeah. We've, set, we've got quite a few properties. We've got a large six bedroom farm that uh, Dave bought recently that we're doing a tour of. We've got a tour of a smaller but most beautiful property just up the road, which is Simon and Tracy's. So a new series coming. Yeah, peeking around other people's land is always good, especially when they've been there for a while and actually have stuff for you to look at. Absolutely. And it's always interesting to see how different people do different things, particularly building and how they live, how they get water, electric, all that kind of stuff. And how they ended up off the grid in the first place. Fascinating. So we'll get people's stories as well as looking at their land. So, so I hope you look forward to that. And we'll see you very soon. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye.